Bond yields are backing off multi-decade highs today, but the sizable rally since the last Fed meeting is still reverberating through the markets and the move index, which is the fear gauge for the bond market, just jumped to the highest level since May in the wake of regional bank troubles. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blicker, he's here to break it all down for us. Jared, take it away. Thank you, Brad. Um, I'm taking a look at the Wi-Fi Interactive here. This is going to be a three-month chart of the Move Index. You're going to notice it just jumped up to the highest levels that we've seen in that time period. And you mentioned it's the highest level since May. That was when troubles from the banking panic in March were winding down. So here we can see just about meeting that level there. But what's noticeable is that on a short-term basis, we are making higher highs and higher lows. And perhaps we are entering into a higher volatility regime. Uh, we, we can't talk about bond market volatility without looking at the bond market as well. Here's the 10-year T-note yield year to date. It's only off about three basis points from what are 15-year highs, 4.77%. Um, I'm looking at seasonality in the bond market and also in the VIX as well. The VIX is a fear market of the equity index. And I'm going to tie all of this together because the VIX has been higher, heading higher as well. I have had a target of uh, October 12th based on history. Uh, as a high in the VIX. So we'll have to see if that comes to pass, but that's what's been happening so far. And this year, seasonality plays in general, and the equity indices and the VIX have been working very well. So that's why I'm paying such close attention to this. Now, sometimes when we get to uh, kind of the round numbers when it comes to bond market, like let's say the 10 year, 4.75%, uh, sometimes that will fulfill a psychological target and we'll see a back off of that. And if that were to happen, we'd probably see the U.S. dollar index rolling over as well. The U.S. dollar, a strong U.S. dollar, has been a hindrance to a lot of stocks, and that's a year to date. Here's a look at the three year, a uh, three month. This looks virtually the same as the 10 year chart. So these two in lockstep have been giving equities uh, a, beth, a tough time here. If they do roll over, that should mean that equities have the green light here. So maybe that happens after October 12th. Maybe it's not exactly correct. But I do happen to think that we have a little bit of downside before we get that resolution to the upside here. Finally, here's a sector map of uh, what's going on today. Energy down 3%. But for the most part, kind of a, a ho-hem day in the indices, guys.